This is Go code. In this video, we're gonna solve problem. So let's see what the problem is. In this problem, you have given a graph G with V vertices and E edges. The graph is a weighted graph, but the weight have a constraint that they can only be zero or one. And we have to find the shortest path of all nodes from a given source. We can easily solve this problem using Dijkstra's algorithm with the complexity of big O of e plus v log v. How we can solve this problem in big O of e plus v. So if you are interested, please continue to watch this video. So let's start. We can solve this problem using 0, 1 VFS. The 0, 1 is because the weight of the graph is either 0 or 1 only. Before we dive into the algorithm, uh, lemma is required to get later things clear. So let's see the lemma first. So the lemma states that during the execution of VFS, the queue holding the vertices only contains element from at most two successive level of the VFS tree. So let's see what this lemma says. This is the BFS tree of this graph. So if we start our BFS from A, the A will first insert it in a Q and then BCD will insert it in a Q and A will pop out. And after that, E, F, G will insert it in a Q and B, C, D will pop out. And then G will insert it in a Q and then E, F, H is popped out. Since at every point in the execution of BFS, we only traverse to the adjacent vertices of a vertex and thus every vertex in a queue is at max one level away from all the other vertexes in the queue. That is here when B, C, D is present in a queue, then first B is popped out and the adjacent of B which is E is inserted in a queue. Then the nodes present in a queue are C, D, E and C, D are at second level and E is at third level. That is they one level away from each other. Let's take a point of execution of BFS when we are at an arbitrary vertex U having edge with weight 0 or 1. Similar to Dijkstra, we only put a vertex in a queue if it has been relaxed by a previous vertex. Here relaxed means that if we are at U and if A plus X is less than B, only then we will put vertex V in a queue. That means the distance is reduced by traveling on this edge. And we also keep the queue sorted by distance from source at every point of time. Now when we at U, we know one thing for sure that traveling an edge UV would make sure that V is either in same level as U or at the next successive level. This is because the edge weights are 0 and 1. An edge weight 0 would means that they lie on the same level and the edge weight of 1 means they lie on the one level below. We also know that during BFS, a Q holds the vertices of two successive level at max. So when we are at vertex U, our Q contains elements of level LU or level LU plus 1. And we also know that for an edge U to V, the LV is either L of U or L of U plus 1. Thus, if the vertex V is relaxed and has the same level, we can push it to the front of the queue and if it has the next level, we put it to the end of the queue. This helps us to keep the queue sorted by level of BFS to work properly. Suppose at some point this is the situation of our queue. So when the level of V is equal to the level of U, then we will push V in front of the queue that is we will insert push v here and if the level of v is equal to the level of u plus 1 then we will push v at the end of the queue that is at this position so if we have a data structure in which we can remove top element insert at the beginning insert at the end in 
big O of 1, then we can solve this problem in big O of V plus E complexity. In C++, there exists a data structure which can do these three operations in big O of 1, which is called as double-ended Q or DQ. So let's see the pseudocode of this technique. Here first we will fill the distance of all the vertex with large numbers and the distance of source from the source is zero obviously. Here we will initialize our DQ and here we will push the source in the front of our DQ because the source is same level from itself. And then we will pop out our front element of the DQ to run our BFS and then we will check all the adjacent nodes of vertex to see whether we can make it relax or not. If we can then we can relax it and if the relaxation can be done then we will check whether the weight of the edge is 1 or 0. If the weight of the edge is 1 then we will push the current adjacent element at the back of our DQ or if the weight is 0 then we will push the current adjacent element in the front of our DQ. This will maintain our Q sorted. So this is the whole code. As you can see, this is quite similar to BFS plus this extra, but the time complexity of this code is big O of E plus V, which is linear and more efficient than this extra. In the comment section, tell me whether we can apply the same trick in these three cases or not. There are some questions present in our description below that can be solved using this trick. So this is the technique which we can use to solve these type of problems. So we will meet in next video.